Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I show you how to do an 11 out of 10 job of putting a tyre on. And then, I put DNA all over the vision. Cue the intro. Okay, just before we show you how to excellently, of course, in true helmet head style, how to not put a tyre on to a motorcycle, I just wanted to turn around and say that we have booked the campsite for the trip that obviously we're leaving at the Desborough BP petrol station at nine in the morning and travelling to Skeg Vegas. What's 85 miles at probably around an average speed of around 25, but we will see. There's a few people joining us, so I'm going to put the campsite details up on the uh, up on the screen. And the, what I turn around and say is, is that there seems to be plenty of slots, so if you're thinking of coming for a giggle, please book yourself a, uh, like a pitch. And if you obviously don't want to do the camping, like personally, I'd rather stay in a four star hotel myself, but I'm doing it for charity and that's what's more important. Um, feel free to go and book whatever you want to, turn up whenever you want. And if you want to ride with us on the second day, on the Sunday, a bit around Skeggy and have a little bit of a laugh, then please do. Um, but yeah, it's going to go up on the screen. Like I said, 9 a.m. at BP Desborough Petrol Station. We will be leaving at that time. So that's our plan set off time. So please turn up before then and we will head off. And I'll say we've got some fun, wacky stuff going on. It's going to be an absolute giggle. But yeah, and please don't remember this is for PTSD UK charity, this ride. So if you haven't, please, please click in the Just Giving link in the description and please donate um, because the total is going up and going up and going up. And I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, let me show you my amazing tyre changing skills and then of course putting some DNA all over the vision. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the tyre back on the vision. I've got a nice new tyre now. Of course, I 100% without a shadow of a doubt had, you know, generally obviously on purpose ordered an off-road tyre. That's no mistake, really probably is but I just ordered the tyre and ended up with an off-road tyre so of course I can now take this across the sand and uh, you know up a massive sand mountain dune kind of thing now we can have this put on the back of the bad boy vision on the charity trip so quite excited and then not just that as well that we've actually been sent now this is a way of explaining it and this is the only way I can really explain it because obviously it's a helmet head Honda Vision, it puts the price up to obviously like a million pounds. So the insurance company that I insured it with have sent me a free smart water kit so that if anyone tries to attempt to take the amazing machine of the legendary Honda Vision helmet head style, they'll be easily found and taken down because obviously it's going to become a national treasure. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on the tyre the old school way that I've done many, many, many years ago, and I'll be completely honest, I haven't done this in many, many years, and I've only ever done it on a motocross wheel, um, a motocross tyre, so this is going to be one of those things where uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting, um, and hopefully this trick will work, and I've watched a couple of people again on YouTube do it, but I've not seen anyone do it on a scooter, so hey, let's give this a go, and get this wheel on, and get the, uh, get the vision back on the road. Right, so to do this, an 11 out of 10, typical helmet head style, Obviously, you need your tyre, and on this it's got an inner tube. And what you do is, you get these plastic ties, you put your inner tube in, if there's a little dot, you match your uh, valve to the dot, and then you put the tyres around it, and you do as many, sort of, as much as possible ties to crush the tyre in. And then you use lube. Now, if you haven't got any kind of, like, grease or lube that you can spray on, then feel free to go into the Mrs. Special drawer and get hers. Um, and then that way you can pop it onto the rim. That's the idea, but it's 11 out of 10 helmet head style. So let's see if this actually works. Right, okay, so now we spray a load of lube around the edge of the tire so it helps it slip on. This lube smells like cherries. So this is the bit that you see on YouTube, which just slips on without any issues at all. Just 
Right, airing it, moment of truth. <laughs> I wish I took it to the garage. Right, okay, so I'm gonna put some air in it. This is the point I find out if I've nipped the valve, I've made a right mess of it. <laughs> and if we have, I'm putting it into a garage. Well, there's no hissing. The tie is on and it's pumped up. Look at that. So fingers crossed, I've actually done it. We put this back on, then the vision is ready for all its graphics. <laughs> I'm quite proud I did that in the end. And obviously the plastic tie trick didn't work because obviously it's probably too small and etc, etc, etc. But hey, I did it the old fashioned way and I got it on. So far, it's up. Maybe tomorrow it might be down and I'll be crying. But at the minute, it's up. Well happy. Yes, I did it. I put the tire on, and I'm not going to lie. I always find when anything goes according to plans, I've not done for donkey's years. And let's be honest, I always do an 11 out of 10 job. Obviously, there is no uh, professional plonkiness there whatsoever. I'm sure everybody will copy exactly what I do, but everything is back on the wheel, the tire, the exhaust. So I'm back on the road, and I'm excited now because I can get the graphics done or do something with the graphics to get this bike ready for the most amazing charity trip in the world. Right, okay, so now I'm going to put on the Carl Nash um, smart water that they've sent me. Now, clearly, they obviously realise that the, obviously, the vision, the charity beast, the machine is going to be highly nickable because obviously it's world famous and with rockets on, etc., it's going to be, you know, well worth it. So obviously they don't send this out to everyone, what they clearly do, but I'm just going to say that they don't obviously send this out to everyone, they send it out to me because of the, the world fame. So I'm going to uh, stick some under the seat and around a few bits like they suggest, stick the stickers on and then of course any thief decides to try and take the vision, we know that they will send out a crack command team with special lasers and things and find this bike and return it back to Helmet Head where it belongs. So let's, you know, let's do this, exciting stuff. Of course. You have to give it a good old shake before you put it on. It's got this little brush for the DNA. Yes. I'll put it on all the locations that thieves may want to try and get near my bike. We'll put a little bit there. Oh, I'll put a bit in the basket. Of course, they would definitely go for stealing the amazing basket. We'll put a bit on the basket because that will definitely stop the thieves. And of course, they might try and nick the vision sign itself. So I'll put some on the vision sign because of course that needs doing. <gasps> Don't forget the indicators. Some of that on there. Some underneath. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna stick on a couple of stickers in places. I don't know where, but somewhere just to make sure that we're 100% safe, so the vision does not get stolen from anyone. Well, there you go. Do you know what? I am generally proud because I don't do a lot anymore mechanically, and I've been doing a lot more recently, and I actually generally did just do it for a living. What well, I know you're all really shocked at, but it's true. I did once upon a time I was a mechanic, and um, what I'll turn say is, is that it's it's this channel is very much about not giving up and just doing that tire by myself, saving some money, and also getting it done was hard work but it's a giggle and it's just put a tire on but at the same time you know it's a bit of a struggle but I had a hell of a lot of fun um, so I'm well proud of myself today it's a real good achievement and all I'll turn around and say is give something a go if you haven't because if you can't do it you can always take it into a shop and get it done but this way you get to have a little bit of fun and a little bit of experience and of course um, the insurance company sending out my free bottle of uh, DNA stuff to put on the bike so we've got the Honda Vision protected against all those nasty thieves now what I want to turn around and say is obviously the trip is coming up it's on the 19th please please if you come in we're going to set off at nine in the morning and it will be from that bp petrol station i will put that up on the screen the address again but please please if you are coming then make sure that you are there before 9 a.m because we are planning on leaving at 9 a.m sharp and obviously the campsite will be put back up on the screen as well for anybody that wants to book a pitch but if you obviously want to go to a really nice hotel and eat nice food and stay in a nice bed i don't blame you if i could i would but i want to raise as much money and put myself through as much kind of the craziness as possible to get the best outcome for the charity so that's kind of my goal so i'm going to be like a plonker i'm going to dress like a plonker and i'm probably going to end up 
getting cold, wet and miserable, but it'll be funny and that's all that matters. I just wanna say thank you so much to my subscribers, the guys that click that subscribe button, stay with me, watch my videos, comment and watch the vlog and enjoy it. Hello to all the new people, there's lots of back catalogue, check it out, it's a lot of giggles. There is a Helmet Head shop where you can buy the Helmet Head t-shirts that I wear around the channel and obviously the Helmet Head mug where everything tastes a million times better, not proven. So I wanna say a massive thank you to my patrons. These are the guys that every single month send some money to help fund this channel. They're the guys that are in contact with me quite a lot. We have fantastic chats. They get to see the videos first. So a massive shout out to them. Thank you so, so much. And of course, the most important thing, the most important thing of all about the whole thing about life is of course, eat pies, ride motorcycles, be happy. I'll see you in the next adventure. Take care for now.